People have taken action by taking to the streets in the so-called Occupy protests that have now spread to 103 cities in 36 states and to Canada and England. Police in Portland, Oregon moved in before dawn today to reopen a street that protesters blocked for more than a week. Eight people were arrested. In New York City, where it all started, protesters have been warned that they will have to leave the park that they've been occupying so that it can be cleaned. Seth Doan is there. Scott, good evening. This is the notice folks in this park received earlier today saying that they would be allowed to return to this park after Friday's cleanup, but not with the tarps and the camping equipment that they've used to live here over the last four weeks. I believe they're using the sanitation to destroy the entire movement. What do you think this is really about? What do you mean? Putting an end to Occupy Wall Street. That movement has occupied this city block close to Wall Street for 27 days, where thousands have been protesting bank bailouts, corporate greed, and income inequality. As the demonstrations in Zuccotti Park have grown, so has the encampment, now complete with a kitchen, medical unit, and sleeping quarters for the 400 or so who call this home. Last night, Mayor Michael Bloomberg visited for the first time after telling protesters they could stay as long as they like. We're going to try to balance people that own the property, Brookfield, they have some rights too, and we're going to find a balance. Uh, people that have a right in New York City to say, to say what they want to say. But now the mayor says that after tomorrow's cleanup, the city will begin enforcing park regulations that prohibit lying down on benches or even storing personal property on the ground. I just Protesters say they'll try to clean up before the city does. 47-year-old Brooklyn resident Robert Siegel has been here since the beginning and says they may try to force them out, but the movement will not end. How important is this park as a center, as a home? This, this park is a symbol, but this park is not the movement. Zuccotti Park can come and Zuccotti Park, Zuccotti Park can go. We can, we can move on and we can continue this from elsewhere if necessary. But that said, we are not leaving. Of course, some local businesses and residents say they're pleased that this park is going to be cleaned up, while some protesters tell us they will not leave. Though the NYPD tells CBS News they will begin enforcing these regulations tomorrow morning. Seth, thank you.